Well, you are a hearty group of folks. Bless you. This thing just gonna blow over anyway. And it's been so freaking hot today. Doesn't it feel good? Even with your rain jacket on, it just feels good, doesn't it? I'm Gary Gillette, I'm the conductor of the city band, and you get to suffer with me again. Remember last week, Roach was out with the in-laws. Well, it turns out that he was allergic to them, because now he's got a sinus infection. So, you're stuck with me here at the Star Spangled. I guess, Ken, maybe, maybe I, I shouldn't have pulled it on him like that. I, maybe Dad, you want to sing the Star Spangled Banner? Mike was going to do it, but he couldn't remember the words. There we go, here's the Star Spangled Banner. Soul is here. We'll recognize Jim the Arranger of a couple of the tunes that we're doing tonight. Mike Rose Barsky in the band. We're doing an arrangement of his. All kinds of great music for you. We'll make it worth your while to, to suffer through this nice, cool evening. Bless you. Here is our Rosencrantz du jour. Mary Marble, we'd like to dedicate this one to Roach since he's suffering with his allergies. So here is Mary Marble.
make it worth your while. Eight tubas and Ken and Karen. And you've got your ice cream. I went over and told those folks there's a whole lot of sad people here last week. Glad that they're here tonight. I hear the ice cream's really good. How was it, sir? It was excellent. Good, good, good ice cream. He didn't offer me even a lick. <laughs> well. Well. We'd like to welcome Ken Colson to the bandstand. Ken's a longtime friend of ours. You know him from all the patriotic stuff, but he was out of out of state this past year for the 4th of July. So we invited him to come in whenever he could. Tonight's the night, and we're gonna start with Ken with Old Man River. To the bandstand, please welcome Ken Colson.
He made the sun shine. Hey, we're going to send our wonderful folks out to, uh, to dip into your pockets if you so well, deal. I take an IOU from you, Dad. That'd be okay with me, buddy. And we really appreciate your support. There you go. Bixler's up for his wallet. Gotcha, buddy. Get going. You know, <laughs> there was a tie vote a month ago, a tie vote whether or not they're going to cut our funding for the city council. A tie vote. You know who saved us? That fat mayor. Thank goodness for that fat mayor. So they don't know what we've got here. So if you'd like to talk to your city council person, you know, there's a half of those that you can just take a shot at them because half of them said, ah, we'll just go ahead and cut the city ban. What? So we're working on it. We'll keep you informed what's happening. We're good for another year, but uh, we, we've got some letter writing to do, I'm sure. Hey, this Fantasia on British Sea Songs was written 114 years ago to commemorate the 100th year anniversary of Admiral Lord Nelson's defeat of the French and Spanish fleets at the Battle of Trafalgar. That's right. If you know your history, you've got that. I didn't know that Gary Herbert knew any. Uh, you'll hear selections of bugle calls and sea shanties, folk songs, familiar melodies. There'll be six works that we'll do tonight. The Saucy Aradrusa. Yeah. Tom Bowling. Jack the Lad, which is really Sailor's Hornpipe. Farewell and Adieu. See the Conquering Hero and Rule Britannia. If you ever watch public television this uh, last night of the BBC's Promenade Concerts, this is what it was written for, and every year they do this great concert. Here is our Fantasia on British Sea Songs.
get ready for this.
the British don't have any fun. some time up here this summer and we abused him last week and lucky enough that he's uh, here for another week. You know, many of us uh, don't know enough about Gary. Class of 69. And a Missoula County High School graduate. Class of 69 from the University of Montana. Uh, the family is very, very musical and Gary took his show on the road. You know, for all of us folks my age and so, you know, that wonderful theme song from Cheers that we watched forever, that clarinet solo, that's Gary Herbie. All right? He still gets a check every week on that one. Once uh, a year. Well, once a year, okay. And what's that other one? The, uh, Simpsons? Yeah, the, you know, kids, kids a little younger would know the Simpsons show. That's Gary's work on that as well. He's an L.A. pro. He gets calls all the time. He plays in bands and orchestras, but he also does lots of studio work and recording. Uh, we're lucky enough that he remembers to come back here whenever he can, and whenever he gets here, he's nice enough to come and blow some music with us. So it's your treat, kids. You get an L.A. pro who's really just Missoula's favorite son. And here's Gary Herbig with Harlem Nocter. Gary Herbig. <laughs>
got good sound tonight, too. This is a, a buddy of Jay's. Mike has been doing sound tonight, doing a great Mike job. Avery. Thank you, buddy. Mike Jay's Avery. all right by me, buddy. Mike Avery. Mike Avery. You know him, you love him. Sucker's got some ears on him. Uh, thank you, Mayor Engin. On behalf of all men of girth, thank you, Mayor Engin, for supporting the city band. People like Gary Herbig and myself. We don't come easy. Boy, I ate a lot of chicken to keep up this figure. <laughs> Most of us just know, know Elgar. Edward Elgar is writing uh, our pop and circumstance, the music for the pop and circumstance. That's about all we know of his music. He's a great composer. Early in his life, about 100 years ago, he wrote, he wrote this wonderful piece, uh, Susa Corda. And for you good Catholics, you know that's the, uh, the preface to the Mass. Uh, he wrote it for his church, St. George's Roman Catholic Church in Worcester, England. Uh, it's where he played organ, and that's where his father played organ as well. So, from that wonderful American jazz to British royalty and you good Catholics and all the fine music you gave to the world, here is Susan Corda.
you know, good music. It's a nice sorbet after all that jazz. I heard maybe you'd come back and have something so refined and classic and symphonic. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sound. Speaking of beautiful sounds, Karen Callens, I'm lucky enough to say a colleague of mine, and now she's a poobat. Besides being just a colleague, she teaches general music, those lucky kids right over in the neighborhood. She's also the president of my official music educators of my, I don't know what we call ourselves, the Montana Music Educators Association of America. She is my boss now as well. And she's got a beautiful voice and she's, uh, we're lucky enough that she shares it with us. You'll hear her twice tonight. Right now she's gonna do from the Muppets, Rainbow Connection. Please welcome Karen Callen. And a great arrangement by Mike Rose Barsky. Mike Rose Barsky's arrangement. Stand up, Rosie. There he goes. He got stood up. Understand uh, that Helena Symphony 
their, their little symphony under the stars, did a whole Disney program last weekend up in Helena. And I've been hearing reports of it, so just to get those people off my back. And I was just so glad when I went down to Disneyland this year that the ride was out of service. Oh, yeah. It was out of service. It was like I died and gone to heaven. I went to Disneyland, didn't have to hear. You'll, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's in this arrangement. I tried to find a way to cut it out, but I didn't have any luck. Here's the Disney March Spectacular. I just made a cut, so if you have the if you have the program in front of you, we'll do the Elmer Bernstein some other week. Want to make sure, Ken and Karen, that we have you. Gary, let me know right there that uh, uh, he's got. Uh, it's him on the soundtrack on two of those rides. What were they again? Cars. 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 That's kind of a complicated one. And the Country Bear Jamboree. Oh, the Country Bear Jamboree. That's Gary on the soundtrack of that place as well. 
Thank God it wasn't on that small world. Bless you, Gary. Bless you. Uh, all right. Hey, lucky enough to be able to put these two together. Is Jim Eversoll here tonight? Mary Ellen, did you, did you and Jim get here? I'm looking around. I've got a call from Mary Ellen wondering how the weather was going to be. And I'm looking around right now. I'm looking for you. I'm thinking maybe they didn't make it. Jim Eversoll is a long time friend of this band. Jim was the band director here at University of Montana years ago. Had some hearing problems, uh, went into a different direction and uh, composed instead of uh, conducted bands because he could still compose without having to deal with all this racket all the time. He could just hear the stuff in his head. And I think this is the best arrangement he ever did for us and for Ken and Karen. It's a collection of tunes written by Lerner and Lowe and it's just fantastic. Jim's health is a little failing right now and I was hoping he could be here to enjoy this music. Uh, we'll enjoy it for him. To the bandstand is Karen Cal and Ken Colson together and here is Lerner and Lowe. Each 
grown accustomed to her face. She almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the tune. She kisses the moon, her smiles, her frowns, her rocks. to me now, are they breathing out and breathing in, I was serenely independent and content before she came, surely I could always be that way I've grown accustomed to her voice, accustomed to her eyes, accustomed to her voice. I'm very grateful she's a Rather like a habit, I can always leave forget. I've grown accustomed to the dreams of something in the air, accustomed to her Thank you. 
your mission's worth tonight, kids. Thanks for coming out in this potentially hazardous world. Look at this evening. Ah, don't tell, right? Don't tell those folks that are visiting you, right? Right? It's not like this all summer long. Come on, we just want them to visit and go back away again, right? We keep Montana for ourselves. Lucky thing you let me move in a bunch of years ago. Ah, buddy. Look, I got a relative in town now. Hey, this is a uh, a Sousa march. It's not the Stars and Stripes. It's okay. Sousa wrote a lot of stuff. He wrote this one for the commander and officers of the men of the 4th U.S. Cavalry, and you'll hear the bugles calling in the back. Several different times you'll hear uh, the trumpets. they has got one and three down, and they're just bugling away on a melody that Sousa wrote. Enjoy Writers for the Flag, and next week, yeah, let's see. Next week, oh, it's the 102nd anniversary of the downing of the Titanic. Yep, I, I should have done it two years ago. It took me that long to get the music together. All the music next week is from the, <laughs> it took me two years to get it all. Hey, I work for a living, okay? Yeah. yeah. And you do roofing. I, got, I do roofing. Oh, my God. I've been doing my roof all day. I can barely stand up. Uh, Next week is music from the Titanic songbook. Everything we're doing was in the songbook of those folks playing that little orchestra of the Titanic. So come and enjoy. We'll, we'll be uh, finding out some new music and a guest singer. That's right. Neil is going to come sing Velia with us. Here, John Phillips who says, Riders for the Flag. Thank you. 
so much. I just want to get right on. I know what's going on. Hey, we'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks so, so much for coming out, folks. Bless you.